It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Zulu Alpha Brewing Company in Caldicott, Wales. Now I'm hoping for a quieter um, beer review uh, regarding a Zulu Alpha beer. The last time I did one, it was uh, felt like the whole house was crashing on, in on me. Um, this is their Evolution, their 5.2% ABV American Pale Ale, uh, 440 milliliter can. Uh, we'll read the side of the can in a moment, but I want to get it out first into a glass and see what we get. And I want to thank uh, Zulu Alpha Brewing Company for sending me this beer. Really rather nice of them. And whilst I'm here, apologies for the previous beer review. With all that noise and racket. Uh, we've got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's nice and hazy. I'm not going to say straw coloured on this one, I'm going to say more of a amber in colour. Now right, let's get the aroma. Stone fruit. Mangoes. Peach, that sort of thing. A little bit of pineapple in there, a little bit of tin pineapple. It smells really, really good, this one. Quite piney as well, a little bit of kind of citrus pine coming through. Yeah, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Incredibly drinkable. Really drinkable, really refreshing. Uh, I've chilled this one down, I got it out the fridge about 15 minutes ago, so it's had a chance to warm up a little bit. Uh, with it warming up a little bit, you're gonna get a lot more of that kind of malt flavor. You're gonna get more of a hot flavor coming through. It's nicely carbonated as well. You can see that carbonation there rolling around in the glass. You get this, it just pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Very good, very good beer. And at 5.2% ABV, yeah, I would say it's kind of like, yeah, that, that's sessionable, isn't it? That's sessionable. People used to session Stella at 5.2% years ago. I know I did. It used to get me in all sorts of trouble, did, did Stella Artois when it was 5.2%. Ah, but adding, a, adding the little bit of sediment, that it, I mean, it's very fine. Adding that last bit to the bottom of the glass has just softened things slightly. It's it's improved somehow. It's improved the the drinkability of the beer. It's made it slightly softer on the taste. It's got a good head too, like the previous beer. I'm pretty sure I could leave this down on the side for 10, 15 minutes and come back to this one too, and it'd still have a good head. Um, sign of a good quality beer that when you can, when the beer is looking like that. It's got a kind of tutti fruitiness to it as well. It's peach, definitely in the in the aroma. There's definitely more peach and mango, and then in the taste, this is more kind of like tinned. Tin pineapple. It's 
in terms of balance, I'm going to say this is more of a, it's probably kind of striding between, or straddling is the word, isn't it? Straddling between uh, new world over here being slightly hazy and then kind of old school over here where there's some nice bitterness there. I like the bitterness on the beer. It, it helps you get that little bit of sweetness to begin with and then the beer kind of balances out over here with bitterness over here. So you're getting a really good balance to the beer too. It's nice, it's really nice. Um, what do I mean by tin pineapple? You've all tried tin pineapples. You get the tin opener, get that kind of, or if you, if you buy a posh tin of tom uh, tomatoes, what am I saying? If you get a posh, posh tin of, um, I always buy cheap tomatoes here and I gotta get the, Get the, get the tin opener out. The saver ones, you know, saver tomatoes. But anyway, back to tin pineapple. If you buy posh tin pineapple, then it'll probably have a ring pull these days. But it's that kind of syrupy liquid that's in the tin pineapple that, that really kind of gives you a sense of, 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 of that flavour in the beer. You've got that little bit of sweetness in the, that's in the syrup, and then you've got that kind of tin pineapple, that pineapple ring taste there. It's really good. It's really good. Um, another place I've not been to is um, is Caldicott, so I must go. I must go to Caldicott. And Chepstow as well. I want to do Chepstow and Caldicott, kind of the pubs and bars of Chepstow and Caldicott. That would be really good. Maybe Maybe drink some... Zulu Alpha while I'm in uh, Caldicott there. But the beer looks great, doesn't it? Uh, would I drink it again? Absolutely. Would I buy it? Absolutely. If I seen their beers in a bottle shop, um, it, it's really good quality beer. It's really good quality beer. Look at it as I'm able to roll it now. Now I've drunk some of the beer. You can, you can see that quality. Uh, admittedly, there's so many kind of new breweries popping up that, that for me, it's kind of trying to keep up with every single brewery out there. It's nigh on impossible these days. But um, yeah, it, 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 I, I've not, I, I hadn't have heard of um, Zulu Alpha before this, but I'm glad. I'm glad I've heard of them now. Uh, of them now because the beer is just terrific. Absolutely terrific. So looks good, smells good, tastes good. I like it. I'm about to rate it, but I want to read the read the description on the side. Uh, Evolution is a stone fruit flavored American pale ale, generously dry hopped with prominent American hops, Citra and Amarillo. This APA has wonderful American pale ale, has wonderful peach and apricot aromas and taste with a subtle caramel malt flavor and medium bitter finish. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Um, unfiltered and fine, naturally hazy, 440 can, 5.2% ABV. Simmons Cliff Way, Caldicott. We'll have to get down there. I'm ready to rate it. Ready to rate this one. Yeah, it looks good, it smells good, it tastes good. I like it enough to give it. A Stone the Crows, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.